Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Bob. We are still stuck on the level with the evil crushing faces. Uh, we finally figured out last episode what the heck those things did, because we took out the other one intelligently from a far distance. But then the second one <laughs> squished me flat. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't say us. I don't know why I was saying us before. It's kind of like the royal we a little bit. Sorry, my cat just jumped on the uh, desk. <clears throat> Hope everyone's doing well. The other game I'm playing right now, besides Bob, uh, I'm playing it pretty much non-stop almost. It's a computer game called uh, Torchlight. Recently was turned on a Torchlight by a friend of mine, and uh, it was on sale off of Steam, I think, over Christmas for very cheap. I think it was only four or five bucks, and normally it's like uh, 20. And after playing uh, it almost non-stop for the past few hours here, uh, I can tell you with 100% surety that I would have paid the uh, full amount. The game is just freaking awesome. I would completely recommend it to anyone who was ever a fan of the original Diablo or Diablo 2. Um, it's just phenomenal. Um, the one thing to note, and it was kind of weird the decision they did to do this, was that the game is um, single player only. There's no multiplayer characteristic at all. Which, actually, you know what? It's, it's kind of a weird experience because in the past, I don't know how many years, five, nah, maybe not many, but three, um, video games have become multiplayer required. You got games like, um, well, I guess the best example coming out is Bioshock 2, when they just kind of tagged on a multiplayer. Now, I have no idea if it's going to be any good or not, the multiplayer segment of it, but it just seems kind of funny that a game like Bioshock would have any multiplayer element whatsoever. <sighs> Damn it. That freaking gap is just so small. Sorry, guys. Uh, don't really understand why they would include a multiplayer with Bioshock, but it's just seeming more and more like that's just kind of the industry standard to include multiplayer. And certain games just don't need it, and Torchlight, you can see how multiplayer would fit in, it would even make sense to, and the fact that they don't do it is, is kind of nice, actually. You're not worried about... uh-oh. Uh, somehow I saved myself again. You're not worried about any sort of, you know, multiplayer element lag or anything like that. Uh, and it's just kind of nice. You kind of just focus on your own character and, and worry about what's going on with him or her. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing much really else to it. Um, the game, as I mentioned, plays a lot like Diablo. There's a ton of loot. When I say a ton, I mean a ton. Uh, and it's you and your main character's pet, which you can either be a cat or a dog. And then the pet element, basically the pet can go to the store for you, or town, while you're adventuring, so you don't have to stop your adventure to go back and basically sell things. Um, which is kind of nice. Uh, what else? Uh oh, I'm dead. That was the first time I've done that. First time for everything, I guess. Um... And also, the other element to it is that there's like this fishing mini game. It's not much of a mini game, really. It's just kind of click the button when it says to. But you can feed your pet different fish, and depending upon the fish you feed it, like you can feed it fire fish or whatever, it'll change your pet into like a fire elemental for two minutes or something like that. And it really allows for a lot of customization, basically, that you can decide if you're gonna you know, feed, even bother feeding your pet anything because the pet pretty much kicks ass without being fed anything anyway. Um, there's three different classes, like a warrior, a mage, and then the other class is kind of like a rogue, a uh, gun class, you know, a ranger class, basically. Um, it's pretty cool. God damn it, as I mentioned. <sighs> I know that that part looks easy, guys, and I'm sure a lot of you are screaming, why is oh, I didn't even load my save state, sorry. There's no way I'm doing this without my weapons. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably screaming at the screen why I keep dying to that simple part. It's really not that simple. Um, it's really narrow, and if your feet get hit, it crushes you. So, I don't know, either it's bad programming or bad sprite, I don't know. I'm guessing it's going more bad sprites that just don't really understand 
where your feet are. <clears throat> Who knows? But we will get past this level. It's not many, but this is definitely up there. I am getting frustrated. I'm in a better mood. Like I said, I played Torchlight for a little while, so I'm cooled off. I can't play this game too much or else we will go insane. Um, as I mentioned before, I try to only let's play um, Super Nintendo games that I own. And the only reason for that is, I don't know, I, as I mentioned in a much earlier video, I'm kind of a avid video game collector, just a hobby of mine. And I did find a copy of Bob, which was difficult to use eBay, which in, in itself is a challenge because you never know if you're actually going to get the game you want or if it's going to be a false copy or just a shitty condition or if it's going to work. But I cannot even fathom how, I mean, with the password system, you could do the game because the password's only six letters long and they give you one about every three or four levels, it seems like. Seems like you could be done without using save states, but holy cow, that would be a really, really long time. This would be a game that you would bring over to your friend's house and put in the password for like the last level, a really difficult sequence, and be like, watch this. I can just remember going over to my one buddy's house when I was younger and doing something similar to that whenever we get a new game. Okay. No. Excellent. We're definitely gonna take care of that guy. Now the question is, where was the other one of those that killed me last time? I know there's the punching guy over here, but it's not until we get to the this thing. I think he's right after this pillar. Good. We're okay now. I don't know why I just walked into those. Ugh. Mm. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Alright. I'll try it again without using a save state. This will now be, I think, three videos I'm stuck on this sequence. If I cannot get it after this attempt, I'm gonna throw it on a save state and just beat the level because I think 30 minutes on one sequence is more than enough. <sighs> I don't know how much longer you guys can put up with it, but I'm getting frustrated as you can probably tell because I tend to try to keep at least a little bit of level head, you know, a game to relax not to become frustrated and this game is succeeding and frustrating me. But what are you going to do? I guess not a whole hell of a lot. Just kind of suck it up and do it. There's a question, those of you out there watching. What's the most frustrating either game or game sequence that you can remember? It doesn't have to be a recent game, it can be if you want. Um, but, but what is that thing that made you just go absolutely crazy? This game actually probably isn't the most frustrating for me. The Probably the most frustrating sequence. And I mean frustrating by like, it's programmed good, it's just a difficult, difficult sequence. This I would consider almost bad programming because you're dying not when you should be. Um, I would have to say that mine was probably a game on PlayStation 3 called Demon Souls. I did eventually get the hang of it and beat it four times and got the platinum trophy for it on PlayStation 3. But that was such an insanely hard, unforgiving game that I would never wish that on another person unless they they'd want a challenge. Getting really close to the 10 minute mark here, guys. What I'm gonna do is attempt this, and then if I make it, I'll call the video there. The reason I'm doing the jumping, by the way, is it stops your forward progress. There we go. Alright, guys, thanks again for watching Let's Play Bob, uh, and we'll talk to you guys soon.